Hey, how's it going? Ed here. Uh, pretty new to the RC plane thing, and uh, you know, actually brand new to it. You know, it's uh, January 15th right now, and I got my first plane for Christmas. So, uh, been flying a few times. Uh, it was a Cub, you know, one of those Cub things. Anyways, um, I figured, what the heck? It's Pittsburgh. It's winter. There's not much else to do except play hockey and uh, sled ride and you know, fool around with stuff. Uh, indoors. So I figured why not uh, experiment with this uh, stuff. So I saw a lot of the Dave Powers videos and uh, nice work Dave. Way to go Dave. Good stuff. Uh, so it's inspired me to try a few uh, different things here and uh, like I said I'm new to RC planes. Uh, this year my wife got me a uh, Piper Cub. Loved it. It's pretty cool and I want to get into some of the scratch building stuff that, uh, that Dave does. And uh, have some new ideas though that uh, I don't know maybe folks have tried this stuff before probably in the hundred years we've had a flight but uh, what the heck can't hurt to experiment on your own right so figured someone else out there might be interested so I'll record some videos here and see uh, see who's interested so my idea my idea is to make the whole wing turn instead of just the aileron. So you remember the Wright Brothers idea of twisting the wing which turned into later the aileron thing? Well, um, reading uh, one of their biographies uh, last year I, I thought it was neat how they were watching birds and they saw you know, the birds twisting the wings and so forth. Well, I thought why not try just turning the whole wing? So here for example this crude model of mine uh, we see one wing going down the other wing going up and uh, made a crude kind of uh, wind tunnel, you know, cheap wind tunnel, this I'll just got a fan, put this in front of it, had the wings flat at first to make sure it flew kind of even, and I uh, used the toothpicks and the hot glue to move one wing down and the other wing keep kind of straight, and I could see it, it did kind of want to turn this way, but again my fan was rotating this way, so I think the whole model kind of wanted to do that, so when I did the opposite with the wings it really went that way. And when I did this with the wings, it kind of just kind of wanted to go that way, but sometimes still went that way. So the results are kind of inconclusive. So anyways, my idea is to make a, a bigger model that I can really hopefully kind of prove the idea out before I actually try to make a plane. So this is the beginnings of a goose. I'm going to try to make a goose. So the idea is to uh, just prove with this crude model whether this wing, whole wing turning thing would work or not. So uh, these are some wings from a different prototype. I got a nice matched set here that I took my time and cut out real nice of uh, this fan fold insulation. So um, they just happen to be the right size for this model so I'm going to reuse them and I'm going to mount them on this box with the carbon rod here and I'm going to try mounting them maybe in the center of the wing to turn them and then maybe up on the front a quarter of the way back and turn them. And so when the wings do this, does it actually want to turn that way? And then when I go like that, does it actually want to turn back? So that's what I'm going to try to prove or disprove. Society of polymer, you really don't know. 
All right, I'm going to shut this uh, video down for now. Got to go to bed, got to work tomorrow, you know. So as I said, working on a goose prototype here. Hopefully I'm going to get some tips from you guys out there. So next time uh, I'll be uh, working on putting the servos probably like right down there and then maybe maybe sticking out of the side body for now and then just uh, an arm going up to work the wings. If you got any advice for me before I do that, go ahead and post it and maybe uh, save me from uh, messing up and having to do it again. All right. See you later. Thanks. Bye.